This kind of looks silly, eh? Oh, the shape is so weird. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Ali. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a new series where I recreate Pinterest pictures that I find and I think are cute. Obviously, I'll give full credit to the original creator if I can find the creator because sometimes on Pinterest, you it's just like repins and it gets lost. But I'll do my best to try and find the original person who created the design. I'm just gonna... There's no pattern for it, so I'm just gonna like make a twist and like... I don't know maybe i'll come up with my own design but yeah pinterest has a lot of cute crochet things and first i want to thank anna louisa for sponsoring this portion of the video um they were kind enough to send four pieces of jewelry to me i received all earrings so um i'll put some video clips of the earrings i received i got like cute card earrings and actually i love wearing I have this like specific pair of earrings that I usually wear where it's um, like dangly pearl, they're like fake, but I've worn them so much and sometimes I forgot to take them off when I shower so it got worn down and all the gold and shininess is gone. So I got a new pair of them. They're so cute and they have little like sparkly um, encrusted shiny things i don't know I don't, they're definitely not diamonds but on the outside of the earrings so i think that adds a cute little touch um if you haven't heard about anna louisa they're based in new york and they have all types of jewelry they have necklaces bracelets rings they come in such cute packaging and you really can't go wrong with like a simple pair of classic earrings this is what their website looks like. As you can see, there are so many different options to choose from and they're all so classy. I tend to go for more gold jewelry, so that's what I lean towards for all the earrings that I picked. But they also have different materials such as gold-plated brass, gold-plated sterling silver, and lab-grown diamonds. Yeah, if you're interested in getting new jewelry, definitely go check out their website and I'll also have a link down below so make sure you go check it out. Now onto the video, I have this patchwork beanie. I have this wool yarn from Line Brand. It's a Woolies one in like, I don't know what color it is. And then I also have this random green one as well. I think this is just like regular acrylic yarn, but I'm going to be making the patches from that. And then I have white acrylic yarn. The table in front of me is a mess right now with all kinds of yarn. A dark blue. The only dark blue I have is this and it's cotton. So it doesn't really go with the rest of the materials, but we'll make it work. And it's like the, uh, the ear warmers, it's so cute. And then I'm just gonna do a little like braid at the bottom. So I'm gonna start by doing a magic circle. I'm gonna kind of do what I do in my bucket hats, except it's not gonna be as structured since it is a beanie. So I'm gonna do a magic circle and then I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do half double crochet cause I'm too lazy to do single crochet. My nails are so long, oh my goodness. I've had these like nails. Um, I showcased them in the teaching my friend how to crochet video. But I've had them for over a month now and my nails are so long. Uh, I need to get them off. But I finished wrapping my films. Both of them. I'm done production and now they're both in post-production. So I'm just, I saw the first cut of one of them and I'm in love. I love it. Yeah. And I'm already starting on my, I have two scripts that I'm going to write uh, before the next school year exciting things to come hopefully some of them a few of them will get into festivals the film that i made last year with my friend it's almost finished finally and i'm so excited to put it into festivals and hopefully we'll get accepted into some of them but uh if not oh well we can always try again i'm gonna continue crocheting and show you once I hit the patchwork part. So right now, I, <laughs> I did a lot without filming. Um, but basically, you see these like little cube things. Um, I'm matching it with the picture and then I'm going to do like the white stitches after. But I'm just doing 
finishing the base of the hat and then I'm gonna decorate it with different uh, colored yarn. So I'm just gonna continue doing that. interesting but we're just gonna trust the process that it's gonna turn out well um and then i have a dark blue that i'm gonna work with hopefully it's enough yarn i'm sure it'll be enough um but basically what i'm gonna do is do the ear flaps now so there's not an exact sciences but i'm gonna make sure that the seam is in the back but it's like since it like curves and stuff um I don't know if this is gonna look good. I just added the flap and then these two colors are really similar <sighs> You know, what? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna add like white stitching here to kind of like Blend it more. It looks silly, but it's gonna keep me warm and it's like fashionable like look at this so It's okay. We're gonna keep going. I'm not gonna undo it I just need a warm hat because today was so windy and I just my ears can't handle it I'm starting on this side. Mm, it's just here. We're gonna start with the blue. sides of the flap and then I'm I join these two colors together like that and then I'm just going to join all all these stitches I don't know how maybe just do like one big single crochet it kind of looks silly eh you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna braid it instead Here it is. Here it is. I'm just uh, 
It looks so interesting. Um, but now it comes the fun part. I get to do the little details. So I found this like pom pom and it's the same color as this. So I'm just gonna use it right on top. Oh, the shape is so weird. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Trust the process. So I'm gonna sew this on top and then do the little white stitching. And then I'm also gonna do the stitching um, here, like for each. And not for each one, maybe just like here. And then I think I'm gonna do like a little tassel at the bottom. <laughs> stuck on <laughs> it's such a cute little hat now <laughs> oh, i look so ridiculous wearing this okay next is uh, okay my it's all tangled i'm gonna be using some white yarn to add some accents on it it's gonna look cute okay so ooh, i keep thinking like i'm gonna wear this in public it's okay. You know, I can wear what I want if it's gonna keep me warm. And it, I made it, you know, it's like something, it's like a work of art that I copied from Pinterest. But I put my own spin on it. <laughs> Would you wear this in public, guys? <laughs> it's warm. And then um, when it gets really warm and it's like flapping everywhere, I can tie it here. And then I'm like little cozy. Super cute. And then I have the little tassels. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> 